Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Today's video is for artists who want to know how to record their videos in a cheap, budget-friendly way. So let's say, for example, you are an artist that has just started up a nice new studio. You want to start exploring the idea of using videos to show other people what it is that you're doing or to teach other people what you're doing, but you don't have the budget right now to buy complete studio equipment. So the list of supplies that you will need in this video is a study lamp and a small little smartphone tripod which can range between 15 and 30 dollars it doesn't have to be an expensive one the one i have has all these little knuckles so that it sort of wraps around things and you can place it anywhere you want and it's very portable and very light and you can take it with you wherever you need so that is literally all the supplies I'm going to go through in this video. For a full in-depth article on this video, it is going to be available in the Drawn to Color magazine, which is produced through the Australian Society of Colored Pencil Artists. So if you are an Australian artist and you love drawing with colored pencils, I would highly recommend that you become a member through them because there's so many benefits when it comes to... Um, getting discount at art stores and just having a lot of support or a lot of information on colored pencils so it's well worth it and of course having the possibility of being featured in their magazine so this article is going to be available in that magazine which will be available in may and that is only available to members of the australian society of colored pencils you don't have to be australian to be a member anyways without further delay let's get started on how to record your videos by just using those three supplies oh and of course you need your smartphone you need the piece of equipment that has the video ability and the microphone ability <laughs> so most people have that so if this if you don't have a smartphone then this video probably won't work for you but if you do then keep watching Okay, so what you are seeing now is pretty much the setup that I have going. You can see my smartphone that is attached to the smartphone tripod. The tripod is adjustable. It's, it's got all these knuckles so that it can wrap around things and it's, it's quite small. You can place it anywhere and it's very handy and easy to take with you wherever you need it. The other thing that you need is a study lamp with a cool light bulb. When I say cool, it's a white light and not a warm light. It doesn't necessarily mean the bulb is cool. <laughs> okay, so I've got one over here and all I'm going to do is I'm going to adjust it. Sorry about the noise. And that is going to be on the left side of the drawing because I am right handed. So I want the light to face my hand so that the shadow is cast behind my hand and not in front of it so it won't be distracting. Now I'm just going to turn off the rest of the lights in the room so that that is the only light that is on. Okay, so you can see that it, it is not a lot of light, but it is enough, especially if you're going to work this closely with your work. So now I'm going to switch over to the camera on my phone so that you can see what your audience will see if you had to record using this method. So you can see my hand over here and you can see that there isn't much shadow interference with the light being on the left of my hand. So that's going to be really good when you are recording because that's not going to become a bother. So let's say for instance I want to record a video and show someone the detailing that I am putting in a petal of the rose. I've already completed this drawing but this is just an example. So I want to show them the detail that I'm putting in the petal of the rose and the perspective on the phone is really good. If I want to get a little bit of a different perspective of what I want to get even closer it's easy enough to do that. So adjust the tripod and just put it closer on top of your work. This is obviously really good if you are using colored pencils because you're on a flat surface and it's not a wet medium so it will be okay if you put the tripod right on the top of your paper to get a good perspective of what it is that you are doing. If you need a further perspective you can do the same. Obviously the camera will be at an angle because you don't have the equipment to put the camera directly over the top but that doesn't mean that the quality of your videos are going to be bad. If anything it's going to look really cool because it's at an angle and it's also going to just give everyone an idea of what it is that you're looking at. All you need to know is how the artist is producing the work and if the quality of the video is good enough. 
make sure the microphone is facing you so that the audio is really good and then that is it so right now the biggest concerns when you are recording a video is you want the quality of the video to be good and you want people to see exactly what it is that you're doing so we've already achieved that the next best thing is you want the audio to be good so make sure the microphone is facing you the third thing is that you want the lighting to be good Yes, it would be nicer to have more lighting, but you only have one study lamp. So just make sure that you buy a bulb that is a, a cool bulb and not a warm bulb. The warm light bulbs have more of an orange look and it completely changes the colors of what you are working with. Whereas a cool bulb keeps the colors pretty close to what they are in real life considering that you only have one light. So if you want to get real life colors, then you're going to need more lights. But the color that I can see in the video is pretty damn close to the real thing. So I would be satisfied with watching this video as a tutorial or as a demonstration of an artwork. So I will put more details of this in the description below. But if you want the full article of this video, it will be available in May in the Drawn to Colour magazine, available to members of the Australian Society of Colour Pencil Artists. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys soon. Bye!